let us continue further. Let us say that you have selected few ground motions, you develop the spectrum of your site and now you modified them already using any of the two techniques. Uh, so, uh, which, which are now matching or uh, compatible with your code spectrum or target spectrum. Now, they are ready to be imported in a structural analysis program for the purpose of dynamic analysis, for the purpose of solving m u dot dot plus uh, c u dot plus k u equal to minus m i u g dot dot. So, now this u g dot dot function of time, this one on the right hand side is already matched ground motion, right. E tabs for example, already provide you a, 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 a module or environment in which you can perform that spectral matching, but uh, it does not allow you to control the iterations or accuracy for example, there are some controlling parameters which you can modify, but still uh, I would recommend to use any specialized algorithm or program, do not rely on that built in option. I think uh, uh, that using a third party program or some your own code for this purpose will give you a better understanding of this procedure, right. So, uh, there are several open source and commercial packages also which are available uh, which perform this spectral matching. For example, RSP match and there is a seismo match and there are uh, some open source MATLAB scripts also which are which can be found which you can use. Several people have uh, developed the algorithm or the functions in MATLAB which can be used. Step 5 is uh, select the analysis solution method. There are two options and both of them are available in E tabs mode superposition method or modal RHA and then step by step direct integration. I think you already have a basic idea of these methods, but for detail I refer you to my detailed video playlist on the linear time history analysis. And uh, based on the selection whatever you select you run the analysis, both will be will be solving this equation m u dot dot plus c u dot plus k u is equal to m i u g dot dot and obviously, each term is a function of time. So, the response which is calculated from both of these options is time dependent response. All response quantities unlike RSA where you only get a peak number, here you get the complete history and in RSA you remember that peak number is also from a modal combination rule. So, it is combining the peaks of different modes to get a resultant peak which is always positive. Here not only the peak will be can be negative also, uh, but it will give you the complete time history if the earthquake was 50 second all the responses computed will be for 50 second right. So, you can uh, see exactly that if peak shear force is some number whether it retained for few seconds or few instants or it is only for one particular time instant, right. If the peak number is only for one particular time instant, maybe you will not use it for the purpose of design, maybe you will use a lower number, right, because that peak may not be representative of the actual response, it may sustain only for a fraction of a second. So, you may not design for that, for that case. So, there are different approaches in that some say that you, you you should use envelope peak, some say that you should use you should select first few peaks or top few peaks and take root mean square kind of a resultant of those peaks and use that resultant which will be obviously lower than the maximum peak. So, in option 1 uh, actually the time history of all the responses for each mode is calculated separately uh, and it is assumed that each mode of a building is, uh, is, uh, is kind of represented by mathematically represented by a single degree of freedom system. 
so please remember all that uncoupling of of the equation of motion orthogonality property everything so we uncouple the equation of motion this one and if it is like 10 by 10 uh, degrees of freedom we will get 10 uncoupled equation of motion each of that will be equation of a, of a single degree of freedom system so we we apply that earthquake to each of that hypothetical single degree of freedom system and get the response of that mode and then sum them in time domain we directly stitch those modes so we don't just add their peaks we add the complete histories right and we get a combined time history of the that particular response right this is what we do in option 1 uh compared to rsa uh, this here the dynamic analysis for each single degree is performed right step by step direct integration for a single degree or the homel integral just consider from where this method is is different from rsa in rsa we simply pick the peak response from the spectrum itself corresponding to the time period of that mode and on the other hand here we run that single degree of freedom system for that earthquake so that we get the complete history so this is the main difference between rsa and model rha so they are the true model rha is the true dynamic version of rsa or i can say that rsa is the true static version of model rha that instead of running the single degree for that earthquake for all modes we directly pick the peak number from spectrum someone already have plotted that spectrum for us and we can directly use that to to pick the peak number and then rationalize or take the resultant of the peaks of first few modes and then we get the combined peak response in rsa here in option 1 model rha we run the single degree of freedom system for the whole time history uh, and get get the dynamic fluctuating results for that mode in option 2 there is no concept of mode shapes it is directly step by step integration so it makes use of the incremental form of the governing equation of motion and each increment incremental form is used or solved to get the response for next increment and that next increment used for the further next increment so you know that already new mark method there are several of new mark method and then some other methods also nowadays hht is most commonly used so uh, option 2 is based on uh, direct computation of the uh, dynamic response so it directly use it directly solve this equation it is not based on computing the response for each mode separately and then sum them right so therefore option 2 is sometimes considered considered more accurate uh, especially if you just consider two three modes in option 1 compared to option 2 which is considering everything right so uh, but obviously for many practical cases option 1 gives as uh, required accuracy as option 2 so and it takes option 1 takes significantly less computational time compared to option 2 right and this computational time is specially important in non linear analysis if your computer model is non linear then step by step direct integration will take a lot of time 